joined by head coach Marty Favret from Hampton Sydney College Football. Coach, coming into the preseason here, a little bit of a different year for you last year as you started to pick up some momentum toward the end of the year. Talk a little bit about what that did for your squad going into the offseason and what you see this year. Well, you know, we, we went into the final week with a chance to win it, which, um, you know, that's always your goal. And, uh, of course, it didn't pan out for us. Um, WNL deserved it. They, they beat us at our place. Um, but we beat some good teams last year, and I thought we got back to kind of playing football uh, the way we're used to playing it at Hampton Sydney. And, uh, you know, it's a tough league, and, um, you know, we know we're going to take everybody's best shot. And, um, uh, but I, I thought it was a good year for us coming off of a disappointing year two, two years back. Offense is something that people look at a lot from Hampton City football, and you had the player, Offensive Player of the Year last year and Cam Johnson. Talk a little bit about what you're going to miss from him being there, but who's ready to step up and take hold? Maybe that's a Major Morgan type of player. Yeah, you know, you, it's been well documented. We've had some real good receivers, and that torch has been passed. Uh, really proud of what Cam accomplished last year. Um, he really took it to another level, and, uh, and we're going to miss his leadership, and we're going to obviously miss his talent. But... You know, Major is the guy that, that, that we have kind of groomed for that position. He's very talented, uh, kind of some D1 type skills with his jumping ability and his height. And uh, I think he's ready to, um, to take on a much larger role, and we'll need him to. It all starts with the quarterback, though, when we're talking passing attack, and you've got a good one in Al Cobb. Talk a little bit about him. Well, you know, it, when we have three-year starters at that position, uh, we've had some good things happen over the years. And now this will be his third year. Um, he really took strides last year, uh, cut down on his interceptions. I think he was fourth in the country in uh, passing uh, completion rate, uh, close to 70 percent. Uh, he th showed he could throw the deep ball, um, which is important in our offense. So, hey, hey no excuses. We love him. We think he's going to have a great year, and uh, he's had a good off season, and uh, he's really, really a bright kid. So, uh, you know, our, our playbook's limitless with him right now, and uh, we're going to have a little fun. Every passing attack is helped by a good running game. Talk a little bit about what you see from the running game this year and if you think Al can help with that as well. That's probably the, where he's not Nash Nance. We don't really see him as a runner per se. Uh, Mike DeMossi was a steady kid for us. Um, I don't think he fumbled at all last year, which was huge. We'll miss him. Uh, we got a couple of young guys, some freshmen coming in uh, that we think are pretty special. Um, and Justin Pollard, who's going to be a sophomore, is a kid that we think has got some talent as well. So. Um, we'll see. The next couple of weeks is going to be interesting in camp. But uh, I, I'm not saying we have a Kyrie Koontz out there, but we have a, a young man that we think can be in the same kind of category as Kyrie and uh, hopefully get us some, some balance on offense. Let's switch to the other side of the ball with defense. And you've got some difference makers back, but I know you've got a couple of spots you need to fill right now. Talk about all three levels of your defense. Well, you're right. We, um, you know, Griffin Davis, um, who was a transfer from William & Mary, has kind of shown himself as a first-team all-league kind of guy. And, uh, and we're going to build around him right there in the middle at the linebacking spot. Um, we think he's an above-average blitzer and he's got a great motor and uh, expecting big things from him. Our defensive line, we got some, some kids back that have played a lot of ball for us, uh, John Klein, Tanner Ramey in particular. Uh, and then some young guys coming in as well. Our secondary, I'm concerned about our safety position right now. We've had some injuries, uh, but Brian Gwaltney at corner is as good as we have in our league, and uh, he'll be a captain for us this year and looking for him to have a big year. When we take a look at the league, we've got a little bit of change that we haven't had in previous years. We've got a new coach with Washington in the league, uh, a new program coming into the league with, with Ferrum College, bringing us back to eight schools for football. Talk a little bit about what you see about those programs in general, but what you see for the league this year. Boy, JJ, it's a broken record, but I, you know, first of all, I think Rob's done a great job at Farum. Um, we scrimmaged them last year. Uh, I think they they're sleeping giants. So, so, you know, they got some kids that can really play, and um, and a terrific running back. And uh, so, yeah, they're going to add some uh, some some zip to the league for sure. Um, you know, you look back 11, 12 years, it's been, it's been Hampton, Sydney, Washington, Lee, and Macon that have won. Uh, but all those other programs, I mean, look out for Shenandoah with the quarterback coming back. And, uh, you know, I say it every year. I think you really got to take care of your home field. Um, and then when you go on the road, you got to hope you can steal a few. And, and like I said at the beginning, I hope I go into November playing meaningful games. Um, that'll be fun. And uh, having Macon at our place this year, uh, you know, I just keep my fingers crossed that that game matters for the title. Uh, I'd take that bet right now. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today, and good luck this year. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate it.